So one of the things that I like with digital technology is that you decrease the error, you become faster, and then surgery goes better. So in this case, cases like this, where the most important phase is guided bone regeneration, uh, you have two phases that you're going to have to pass with uh, success, is implant placement and bone regeneration. But how many times do we see implants placed exactly in the middle of the lateral and central incisor? A lot of times. Because when we find out that we don't have bone, then we start to drilling uh, a little on the opposite direction, and then you start to lose references, and then all of a sudden you're in the bad prosthodontic position. Now, one of the things that digital implantology came to help you is that you can now plan this very accurately. That means that in either software that you have on the clinic, you can plan your tooth position, and then from this tooth position, you can plan your dental implants. And and you already know where the best bone is going to be and which is the situation where you're going to fenestrate and what kind of guided bone regeneration do you need if you need bone for, for primary stability, if you only need bone for volume. So you know all of this stuff in advance. Uh, and now one of the things that is very useful in these situations is that it will create for you a surgical guide. Then even if it's a pilot drill surgical guide, it will exactly tell you where you need to drill in order to become in the correct prosthodontic position. And that is big, a huge, huge advantage because we, know, we normally see in these situations that you're so tired trying to hit the correct prosthodontic spots that when you finally get to the part where you have to regenerate, your dental assistant, your patient, and you are already tired and then work doesn't come as long. So in a couple of minutes, you get rid of your implant position because you know, because you create a surgical kind. And now you're accurate enough in order to go there and spend more time in your guided bone regeneration. Now, uh, depending on the software, it will create a surgical guide. It doesn't matter if uh, the surgical guide is uh, with holes or it has a bar. But the most important thing is that in this particular situation, you have an orthodontic patient that you needed to do a dental impression. Now, are you going to use alginate on this patient? Are you going to use uh, silicone on this patient? Of course not. You only have to do a digital impression. Then that's where digital implantology and digital dentistry came to help you a lot. Is from something that is very, uh, very pleasant for the patient. Is very quick. It's a digital impression. You are no go. You are now ready to go in for the surgery. And on the day of the surgery you already know where you have to drill. So that is no longer an issue for you. You go in, you drill like you see in the picture, and then you're not thinking of whether if your implant position is okay. You just go on past this phase and go into the guided bone regeneration. And that's easy because now you have the perfect prosthodontic position, not to buckle, not to lingual, not to mesial, to fall on the central and other incisor, but uh, exactly where it's supposed to be. So now you spend more time on your guided bone regeneration. Of course, I'm not going to, to show you the guided bone regeneration because it's not, it's not the, the aim of this webinar. But now you have more time to deal with primary wound closure, to deal with your provisional. And so you become faster at the day of the surgery. And by becoming faster, you're becoming accurate. Now you can see on the CT scan that your uh, guided bone regeneration was uh, successful. Because uh, I'm not saying that you could not do this with digital implantology. I'm just saying that you become faster with this technology and by that you become better. But do not uh, try to read out all the evidence-based answers that we have. Remember, you have to incorporate digital technology in your workflow. And if you do that, then the results are better because you're faster and accurate. And this is a case that I like very much because it shows how digital technology comes to help.